All right, waiting for people. It's late on a Sunday. I'm working on dinner, so sorry if I keep looking away from you guys. Um, now, nah, I promise, this is going to be a short one. I don't know how many times I said that. No two hours. I got to be up at 4.30 tomorrow. So, we're going to make this one a short one. Uh, I'll wait till people get here first, though. Um, yeah, I, I'm actually cooking dinner right now. I, um, well, not, not me, Courtney. She, we have, um, we have stuff in our Dutch oven, in the oven, and then the juice that we marinated with, I'm rendering down right now. Courtney's on the phone with her family. So, yeah, that's kind of what I'm doing right now. Um, we're going to do a quick, easy um, a vegetable for any kind of meal. It, it's a real easy one. Uh, and we're going to do it the easy way for, you know, I don't know, maybe that soccer mom or somebody that doesn't like to cook vegetables because they're not exactly sure how to do it or they're afraid they overcook them or undercook them. This is going to be an easy one for you. Um, we're actually going to do it the way Courtney does. I would just put her on this. Because Courtney... She eats a lot of vegetables and salads and stuff, so the quicker she can make them, the better it is for her because she takes her, she takes kind of like her breakfast and lunch to work every day. So, hey, we got somebody. Hello. Um, yeah, so. Oh, hey, Whisperer, how you doing? You just walked in the door, and I was the first person you thought of? Wow, I feel privileged. <laughs> how did the meat go? I'm actually trying to multitask, and I know the women out there are going to say it's not possible. I will be looking down a lot because I'm in the middle of doing two different things at once on top of holding a camera and talking to people. So, did Sydney do good with her um, meat down there? And Oh, she got two, two first place and two second place. First all around. That's great. Um, I, I hope she continues it. Uh, but only if she likes it. Um, if she likes it and she can do good at it, it'll be great for her morale and her self-esteem. It's one of them things that'll definitely, you know, help her as she grows up. Ah, uh, that, that's good. I loved it too, but now, you know, being over 40, there's just something about my butt being above my head that just doesn't seem right. <laughs> Oh, well, that's always good. If she does it voluntarily, that that's a huge bonus for you. Um, yeah, I, I loved it, but, you know. Um, well, tonight, I'll actually show you the recipe that we're making, but not what this video is actually about. This is the recipe that we're going to be doing. It's skillet roasted um, chicken and vegetables. I Instead of doing it in my cast iron pan, I put it in my Dutch oven. Um, if, you got, uh, if you want a copy of this, I can always send it to you. And I love this place that we get them from. It's a place called uh, Savory Spice. There's their information. This was the one that I got from December. So... Oh. Sorry about that. Um, come on, turn around. Turn around. 
Turn around. Oh, there I am. Um, I really do love this company. This is where I get most of my spices from. So, um, you'll see a lot of things that I, I do cook. Some of the bigger meals that are a couple different steps. I do do them with um, these recipes. But I do make my own recipes also. You know, I just... Hey, hey, what's up, VCG? Are you Nick or are you Vince? Uh, who am I talking to tonight? Um, yeah, like I was saying, I'm, I'm in the process of actually cooking our real dinner. Um, but we're going to do a... <laughs> hey, Nick, how you doing? Um, I'm going to be doing a video on green beans. Um, so it's going, I'm hoping it's going to be a, a quick video and not like my last two lives. Uh, last night was only supposed to be about 20 minutes or a half hour, but two hours later, I'm like, all right, <laughs> time to go to bed, guys. I still got to eat. <laughs> but, um, you know, I, I loved having everyone there. It, it was great. Uh, it, it's nice to be able to get in touch with you guys and, you know, be able to verbalize, rather than just a text message of what you guys ask. I I really like the fact that we can communicate kind of one-on-one, -on -one, you know. So, I'll show you what I'm actually doing right now. Um, this is the marinade that I, well, actually, Courtney. Um, I had kind of a busy day. So, that that is the marinade from the chicken that we have in the vet. Um, and the vegetables that are in the oven, <laughs> in the oven, in my Dutch oven. So we took the rest of the, um, we took the rest of the marinade and we put it in a pot with, with some, a little bit of chicken stock and we're going to render it down to kind of make almost like a gravy it it's not going to be a gravy because it's not going to be thick it's going to be more of uh like a rendering kind of like you would do with like a wine so uh we're gonna do that that's actually the dinner the worst part is I was all ready to video the whole thing. I had three quarters of it prepped, ready to go. And then I was just going to show you how I cut the odds and end things. And then finish it up and get it in the oven. But yeah, my GoPro had a fit. So I said, you know what? I'm going to be hungry. It's going to take about an hour and a half to cook. So I'm just, let's just do it. And while I was throwing, you know, a two-year-old tantrum about my three-month-old GoPro... Courtney got dinner started for me. So now I'm doing the sides for this dinner, not Courtney. Yeah, I, I can't wait for that either, guys. That That's going to be great. I, I really can't wait. I, I, I really... I, I'm anxious to see what it's going to be like when you guys... Um, I guess it's a virtual collaboration. You know, I, I'm excited to see how that comes out. Yeah. You know, because I I can't virtually do anything. <laughs> um, I was actually at Best Buy today looking looking up um, my options for getting a computer because right now I'm running on a very slow laptop and then my very old laptop that I use for DJing. So... We'll see how that how that works out. So, um, first thing we're gonna do for sorry if I keep looking down, guys. I'm trying to do this all by myself. Sorry, hun. Busy. Um, actually, whisper. Yes, I used to, but I am way too old for that now. So. Um, I have a full virtual controller now that I use and it works 
works great, but I don't really DJ too much anymore because, you know, you have all these people out here using a couple iPods and a little mix deck and they call themselves a DJ, but you give them vinyl and they don't know how to do anything. So, yes, EDM is good. I like, um, a lot of the stuff I like is like Trop Killers and, um, you know, I, I forgot who the other one was. I'm sorry, guys. I, I'm tired. I've been um, trying to help take care of my, uh, my mom. She's not doing all that great. So I've been uh, real busy with that. Um, but, yeah, I've been... Um, one of the things... You know, I like, like Bass Hunter and... You know, Trop Killers. And I like how they're redoing a lot of these. Um, you were driving by your by yourself for six and a half hours. Wow, that, that doesn't sound fun at all. Um, yeah, I, I really do like EDM. I like some, some of the trance music. Most of what I like is house and the older club music um a lot of the stuff that was really originated in philly um you know like one of the favorite um one of the people that i really like is uh robbie tronco um he was born and raised in philadelphia so um Right now, I'm heating up my pan because this is going to be a, a quick vegetable, but not extremely quick. Um, I'm going to be putting... Oh, wow, look at that. That looks like that's rendered down. We're almost there with that. Um, hey, Courtney, we're... Where did we put the peanuts? Well, not peanuts. Oh, there they are. Never mind. Sorry. Um, we're going to be... Let's see if I can not spill them all over and show you. Um, I'm going to be using sliced almonds to go in with the green beans. Um, so, let me see if I can do the... Mm, no, this isn't going to work. There. That's what I'm inspecting. Oh, yeah. What are you By doing the way, here? I have ECG shirt on. Hope you're doing it right. <laughs> I, I can't toast almonds and, mm -hmm. and put green beans in the microwave? Checking. All right. So, how many almonds do we want to like a handful. toast up? Probably like a half a cup would be fine. All right. Courtney says a half a cup. I'm going to say a big handful. What? Oh, Whisperer says hello. Hi. <laughs> She's on the phone with her dad right now. No, her dad's in Oregon, so the time change makes it a little bit rough on us. Yeah, it also puts a uh, pretty good um, flavor to it, too. Actually, Christina, no, I do not have 100 subs yet. I think I'm at like 80 or 81. But I do have a video that finally hit 20,000 views. Nick says hello. Hi. <laughs> Courtney says hello. <laughs> so we're just going to... Oh, so that's why I... See, I knew there was a reason. Hey, Court, I found out why I can't have a moderator. What? Because I don't have 100 subs. Oh. <laughs> People were trying to walk me through it on last night's live stream, and I'm like, why can't I do it? Wow. Yes, frying eggs, Nick. Who would have ever thought that a video that easy would have got that many views? I'm waiting for the Brussels sprouts one to blow up. So, um, 
Let's switch around. Like I said, we're just going to um, we're just going to toast up these almonds a little bit, and then uh, <laughs> yeah, your dog pee one. It's funny. I I go back and watch that occasionally, and I I don't know what it is that some of the videos that get the most likes. Just calm down the common sense. Um, like, there's a lot of people, like, how to change a doorknob or stuff like that. And, hey, Justin, how you doing? You know, so, I don't understand. It, it's like a lot of people, I've seen videos on how to, like, well, like, you have one on how to clean your tub. You know, and how to clean shower doors. You know. I, I don't see what's so hard about a lot of these things. You know, you would think people would know how to clean by the time they own a house. Alright. The almonds are toasted. Let's see, what, what did I miss? How to get on a sled and got 32K. See, that's what I'm talking about. You know, <laughs> it, it it's really ridiculous. I mean, can you really not? If you don't know how to get on a sled, I really think, you know, you should think twice about getting on a sled. Uh, honestly. Um, all right, I'm going to turn you guys around. I have my almonds toasted. And I have my green beans. Now, we're just going to poke a couple holes in here. We just want them to steam. The green beans have enough water in them themselves that we're going to let them steam. And then we open up said microwave. Which, by the way, I'm not going to show you the inside. I'll pan down to my almonds because I don't clean my microwave. I don't use it, so I don't clean it. So, and Courtney, how long does that go in? Five minutes. All right, we're going five minutes on this one. Five minutes and start. All right, so there you go. Now we just wait. And what did I miss? Because I wasn't paying attention. Um... Um, Justin, tonight we're just going to make a real simple one. We're going to make, um, we're just making green beans. This is for like the soccer mom or really anybody that doesn't have that much time that wants to get vegetables in their diet. So we're going to show you how you can microwave them and get the same effect out of it and still have a healthy meal. Um, yeah, I... I I do know a lot of people are gross and yeah I I try not to think about them being gross. Um Yeah, I I definitely agree. Um I do like toasted almonds rather than plain ones. Yeah, the the almonds are nice. I I like almonds. I don't really eat them that much cuz I have intestinal issues. Oh, uh, all right. Hey, what's up, Gear? Actually, this video was going to be for you. I was going to try and link it later if I could. Uh, Nick wants to see the inside of my dirty microwave. Yep, there you go, Nick. There you go. Yep, don't clean it. Excuse me, what's going on in there? Don't be saying nothing about my cleaning or not cleaning. <laughs> <laughs> Never mind it. All right, well, there you go. Um, yeah, Gary, this is, um, we were gonna... No, no brown butter, sorry. Um, yeah, Gary, we were doing this to, um, I, I know that you like broccoli and chicken a lot, so 
this was going to be another healthy alternative to help you on the, the road for you to keep losing weight. I mean, I'll do anything I can to help you. I mean, you're doing great at it right now. So anything I can do to help, I mean, it's quick and easy, five minutes in the microwave. You don't even have to have the almonds. Put it in the microwave, it comes out. Just hit it with a little bit of, um, uh, like this is not butter or, you know, like a yogurt butter. Brummel and Brown makes a good one. Let me, let me see if I can get you the numbers on it. Um, Brummel and Brown is actually a yogurt butter. Um, let me, uh, here we go. There's the side of the label for the Brummel and Brown. 45 calories, 45 from fat. Yeah, it's so much easier if you um, if you grill for like the whole week. Just get a whole family pack of chicken and slap it right on there. So as you can see, I mean, this is really healthy compared to regular butter. And it has such a better butter flavor, if you ask me. Um, no, it's not. It's really good, and it has that nice, rich, creamy butter flavor. I, I love it. So now, mind you, these almonds that I made, they're just sitting in my pan right now because they will be going into the green beans when they're done in the microwave. So... My other meal is, sorry, you guys were not looking at the right place. Um, the other meal I was doing, this is actually the marinade from the chicken that we have in the oven right now. My GoPro took a crap, so we started without it, and I'm like, you know what? I'm just going to make a live video for the green beans. So... Um, for the people that weren't here earlier, that, oh, uh, now you can see, that has carrots, garlic, a couple little seasonings, um, Brussels sprouts, and almost a family pack of chicken. So, you can see right along the edge, <laughs> edge, see what I did there? Right here, you can see the oil that was in here. That was in our marinade. So what we're going to do is we're going to heat this up and finish rendering it down. So let's see what we have in the microwave. Assistant. I had to call my assistant. <laughs> because I know if I try to do this one handed, I'm going to get burnt. So she just sticks her hand right in there. Yes. Mm. Look at her on the phone multitasking. You go, you CSRU. Yes. Yeah, they're ready. They're ready for me. They're not probably ready for you, though. So, are just, we... You can leave them in there and steam for a minute without the microwave on. <laughs> or you can just take it out now. I would eat them now. Yes. They got that little, like, crispiness to it, but they're still cooked. Hmm. All right. All right, you going bye-bye? Oh, by the way, Gear says hi. Hi, Gear. <laughs> um, yeah, what we're going to do, because I don't like hard, crunchy, nah, hard, crunchy vegetables, I'm going to leave them in there and let them steam a little bit longer to get a little bit softer for me, because that's how I like my vegetables. But for somebody that's trying to get a lot more of the uh, nutrition out of them and everything, right now would be really good. They have that nice snap. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Here I am. I'm back. <laughs> um, yeah, I, I don't know where it left off, so I'll just start over again. Um, I'll leave them in there for myself because I like them to be a little bit softer. And Courtney likes them to be a little bit crunchier. And the reason for that is you get a lot more nutrition out of 
your vegetables, the greener they are and the crunchier they are. So for people that are trying to still get nutrition and get good clean calories, you know, like somebody like Gear Runner here, you know, he'll be able to get a lot of nutrition and also not a lot of calories, but be able to still feel full at the end of a meal. And it really helps. Um, actually, Justin, I don't really watch cooking shows because I don't have cable. I, I just watch YouTube. Um, and yes, Gear, my assistant called somebody else. She is actually on the phone with her father. Um, her dad lives in Oregon, so um, with the time difference, it, it really doesn't work out too well. It's like we're going to bed, they're having dinner kind of thing. Um, yeah, she is doing it one-handed, but once again, women can multitask, guys can't. <laughs> so, um, yes, Justin, crunchy vegetables is the rule. Um, Gear, I really don't like crunchy vegetables. I do. Courtney loves them. Um, we disagree on our stir fry. Yeah, I I really like the crunch in it, but there's reasons that I don't like the crunch in it. And I Partially would, because you can't digest your food, too. Well, yeah, I also, medical reasons, I can't digest. You know, um, I've been nicknamed the salad shooter. Okay, so. not cute. Not <laughs> cute. Um, Unbelievable. Yeah, I, I can't digest greens at all because I have intestinal issues and... Stomach problems. Yeah, it, it is kind of funny. Um, so, you want to so, get this? All right, here we go. Ready? Redemption. Mm. There you go. Look how green they are. So, they're still green. Still like looking like they're blanched or steamed. Still got a little bit of crispy, not even crispy, like they're soft and hot. But they're not like that brown, green, floppy grossness. <laughs> uh, yeah, Gear, it, it's definitely, um, it's definitely a problem. Um, there's, there's a lot of things I can't digest. Um, so that's one of the reasons why I joked a little while back that I just eat strictly carbs and protein because my body can um, digest and metabolize those unlike vegetables. Um, anything that's green, not good for me. Um, it doesn't really cause a problem. It's just useless because I don't get anything from it. So I don't waste you know, my stomach space or calories or anything on it. I eat what I'm actually going to get something out of. Um, so, what I miss? um, actually we bought them bulk from the store. Um, what the green beans? Yeah. Yep. Uh, we got them from ShopRite, which would be like any other supermarket that you would normally buy from. Yikes. So, ah, that sounds like our other meal is ready. You want to check on them, Court? Okay. Oh, here we go. That was hot. She should have reminded me. It's hot. Ow. So, that's what they look like when they're done. She just sprayed a little bit of, I can't believe it's not butter on it, a little bit of pepper, a little bit of salt. There you go. And you're done. Now, Gear. Oh, there we go. <laughs> you don't have to eat just broccoli. You can eat your green beans. And they taste good. They do. And it's a shame because I really do like greens. Right. It say, just made it awkward. Say, they're really good. She's <laughs> smiling. <laughs> mm -mm. Uh, thanks, Gear. And, and Nick. Um... I whisper. I heard her mm. in there too. Um, I I think whisper might have dropped out. Maybe mm -hmm. or she just walked in the door and she got the notification. So, 
Um, yeah, I mean, they're, they're good. And green beans are pretty cheap considering. Oh, hey, Whisper, you're still there. <laughs> um... Uh, Courtney was struggling. She had to lift up a um, cast iron pan. Above my head. Above her head. And I can't even do a push-up. Just saying. Yeah, she can't do a push-up. Well, I can do a girl push-up. <laughs> Alright, that, that's not a push-up. It is. In, <laughs> in my world, it is. Alright, we ready? Let's see. Alright, let, let's take a look. Let's see what we got. Ready? Oh. oh. Mmm. Mm, what's underneath there? Yeah, let's get us something. I'll get it. Mm, yeah. You're gonna burn yourself again. Here we go. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> um, yeah, Justin, I actually use a bunch of um, different oils. Like, there you go. Look down there. We got potatoes, Brussels sprouts. We have there. some carrots. Mm -hmm. These are the mm. fingerling potatoes, too. Yeah, these are just small little tiny potatoes. So, now, Gary, you can probably eat this as long as you don't put the oil in it. Yep. If you bake it, now, I, I know it's not the best case scenario, but if you leave the skin on the chicken, the fat that comes out of the skin will help with, with cooking it. So that way you don't have to add extra oil. And that might help you out a little bit. And, and you'll still get the flavor because you'll get the oil from the chicken rather than changing the flavor. Um, yeah, um, Justin, as you were saying, coconut oil. I, I actually like coconut oil. Um, it works really well when you're sauteing vegetables. Um, and... Then I also use grapeseed oil. And do, 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 do. I use olive oil. I break dishes. Um, and depending, I'll use vegetable oil, peanut oil, or canola oil, depending on the other things. Um, like if I'm deep frying something, like a french fry or something, I like the canola oil. It gives me a slightly better flavor that I like, at least. Um, yeah, I mean, anything that you can eat that, that's going to be healthy for you is definitely a bonus, regardless of where you start. And I, I do actually like the microwave vegetables. I just make fun of Courtney all the time because she makes the sides. So when, when she does make the sides, it's normally... Yes, you make them in the microwave. I make the microwave look good. Yes. <laughs> so. Do it works for you, and it definitely works. Uh, do, 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 do. What, you ate the whole lasagna and you're still hungry? Ooh. Um, yeah, I always get yelled at because of the videos I make makes everybody hungry after they ate. So, yep. What do you say we plate some of this up? Yes, avocado oil is good, and all the other oils are actually pretty healthy. Hey, hey, Nick, stop drooling. Um, let's see, what else we got here? <laughs> see, that's funny. Gear says he can actually smell it because he just got done grilling his chicken for the week. <laughs> nice. <laughs> See what? that? I, I like that one, Gear. That that was good. What seasoning do you use on your chicken when you grill it? Is it just salt and pepper? No salt and pepper? Or do you put other stuff on there like adobo or powdered garlic? What do you use? Hey, Justin, how am I going to make you fat? That was... A both of those were pretty healthy meals. I mean, if you want, I can make um, diet videos, too. I mean, if you guys will be interested in it. And exactly what would you know about it? What I'll I... make the diet videos. All right, Courtney will make the diet videos. So if you want to see more of Courtney, let us know. 
How you doing tonight, Redemption? And uh, thank you for telling everybody for the uh, thumbs up and everything. That That's great. Um, I did find out from Real Estate Whisperer earlier, she asked me if I had 100 subs. And I told her, no, not yet. I'm at 80 or 81. And she was said, oh, well, when you reach 100, you can then appoint a moderator which is what the whole fiasco was about last night is because i didn't have a moderator because i can't do it yet oh you don't put anything on it you just dip it in heinz 57 Yeah, if you eat what I made plus a whole lasagna, yeah, that will make you fat, Justin. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. All right, let's see what dinner looks like. Oh yeah, I forgot. <laughs> I stop eating it. All right, what's that look like, guys? That look... Nick wants to know, how is it? Oh my goodness. Just give me a minute. Right, she needs a moment. Let Here me we have go. a moment with it. There we go. Mm. Let me get this veg in here. I feel so rude talking with my mouth full. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Thanks, Redemption. <laughs> that would be very cool of you. <laughs> Redemption said, give me 10 minutes. I'll make 19 fake accounts real quick. <laughs> <laughs> let, let, let's see every angle of it. Look at this. We can even like pan in and pan out. Yeah, this is the best that my editing gets. That that was just my cinematic. Wow. Mm. Let, let's look at it. Look at that nice sauce on there. That sauce right there was the one I was just rendering down. Let's see if I can try and describe it. All right. Courtney's going to describe it. So that means we need to look at her. I feel like I'm way too close. Yes, it, it it is pretty saucy, but you know it had everything. It's got like a tang to it, so it's got lemon zest in it, and it's got garlic and balsamic, so it's got a little like tangy, sassy flavor to it. We don't have mushrooms in there, do we, Court? No. No, no mushrooms. It's potatoes. We got here. We go. Brussels sprouts. Right there. Carrots. Right there. And the fingerling potatoes. Maybe they're a little whiter on the inside. It's the balsamic vinegar that's getting it everything all brown. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Uh, Justin, your bro makes salad with crunchy green beans, roasted tomatoes, grilled sliced chicken, and Italian dressing. That sounds amazing. You know what? That, that really does sound good. I, yeah, you're you're just going to look at all this for a second. Um, you had to edit your second video. It took forever to figure it out. I kept hitting the wrong buttons to do the wrong thing. You know what, Gear? I I have I have no words for that. I mean. At first, I downloaded DaVinci 12 because it was, you know, one of the best video editing softwares. And as Nick will tell you, it's almost like Adobe Pro. There is way too much stuff in there. I'm like, really? I just want to cut out the parts where I screwed up and continue on. Maybe fade the black. <laughs> and yeah, it, it did not work. So then I downloaded, I think it was like um vcds or or vsdc it was a basic free video editing software and i'm like yeah that is still too complicated so then i said you know what i got adobe premiere i'm like all right this is for you know the people who are illiterate for it and you can actually put all your stuff down in what they call their organizer and put it in line and then you can go to the guided tour on how to make your video. So, that worked pretty good for me. Um, 
Let's see, where did I leave off? Yes, iMovie is um pretty good. I, I heard that it's um pretty forgiving. And once you start getting used to it, it'll be really quick. Unfortunately, I have Android, so everything would have to be ran through an emulator to make it work. Um, Babe, you want any of this? I'm going to eat it all. <laughs> hey, guys, you hear that? Courtney just said she's going to eat it all. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I, I don't think so. Um, so good. The closest thing you got to dieting was eating grilled chicken salad topped with Fritos and balsamic vinaigrette dressing. Uh, don't think the Fritos help. Well, it gave you that crunch factor, so I mean, mm, depends on how many Fritos. Was it just like that little travel bag, or was it the whole family bag? Um, the, Justin, does anyone know if there's a mobile video editing software I can use for YouTube? Actually, I think YouTube, um, actually ask Nick that, um, Nick, is there a mobile app that you can use for editing YouTube? I believe it's in the creator studio, but you have, you can run your, you can run your, they're looking at me now. I know. Um. I'm having a moment with the food. They, I think you can run your your mobile device as desktop version and use the creator function, I believe. Yes, Adobe Clips. Well, what are you also taking your video on? Because if you're using a GoPro, you can, um, they have a, a quick app that you can use also. Fritos, definitely not diet approved. No, absolutely not. Sorry, guys. Mm-hmm. I don't know how I'm supposed to do a video with my mouth full, though. <laughs> yeah, Fritos aren't healthy. I mean, you wouldn't know but they're it. they're good. Yeah, you <laughs> wouldn't know it looking at me. Here, Court, let them look at me. Look at me. I am looking at you. You wouldn't know that I eat probably three bags of Fritos a week. Yes, congratulations. Let's all hate them now. But then again, that's also all my meals. I That's my lunch and like mid-breakfast. And then I have a big... Then I have a meal like this at night. So... Let's see. All right. Um, Nick is laughing. Justin said, thanks. Gear Runner. I have heard there's a stabilizing tool in the creator. Yeah. Um, there is, but I haven't used it because, like I said, I use the Adobe Premiere. So I can just use the stabilizer in that. So I'm not uh, too familiar with it. Once again, Nick would be the best person to go to. I mean, he does wonders with everything. Um, you're taking video with your phone. Um, you can probably use iMovie. Um, I know that there's a couple other um, ones out there that you can use. Um, yeah, Nick says that he uses Adobe Clips and you can use YouTube Editor, but it is a pain sometimes. Were you you uh gear were you using your your phone to make the video and is that why it was shaking because you said because i was trying to make videos in my tundra but the mount the mounts all shake too bad um yeah i i don't know if there was some other maybe some other mount that you can use There you go. Nick said, um, search the Play Store for film editing software. Yeah, Justin, it, it the YouTube editor doesn't have enough options, 
But you know what? If you're just getting started out and that's your option and it's free, then there you go. Oh, Justin, you have the same shirt? Wow, VCG really gets around. <laughs> Those are very cool guys. Woo! <laughs> yes, they, they definitely are very cool guys. I love those guys over there. I hope they at least like me. <laughs> You're a goof. Hello, uh, Mom. How are you doing? Is that my mom? Yes. Hi, Mom. Oh. Hi, Mom. <laughs> Love you. <laughs> there you go. Um, Lori is Courtney's mom. Say hi, Mom, everyone. Um, what suction cup mounts do you have? I know that um, Nick and Vince were really happy about the Fat Gecko ones that they had. Um, they work really well from what I understand. Oh, <laughs> uh, is that why I keep getting that red bar along the top of my screen redemption? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. It's greatly appreciated. Um, oh, iMovie isn't free, Justin? I, I thought it was. Yeah, we love you guys too. Everybody down there, especially Norm! <laughs> and the cats! Oh yeah, and the cats. Definitely Tommy Boy. And Mrs. VCG. Yeah, everybody down there. Your mom says hi. Hi, Mom. Gear Runner says iMovie on an iPhone X was free. Um, so in that case, Justin, are you not using iPhone or are you using um, Android? Because that might make a difference. <laughs> hey, Whisper. <laughs> <laughs> uh, don't keep an eye on this too close. You might not see, might not like what you see. Yeah, you know I'm a <laughs> naughty girl. Uh, gear. I can't remember actually have three. I kept buying different ones to try each out to see if they work. Um, even the ones with the screw down still vibrate pretty badly. Um, the problem is. Mm -hmm. Um. The problem is you're driving a truck and if you have it attached to your windshield, it does vibrate a lot. Um, when I take my videos, I use, let me get it for you. Oh, where are you going with my food? Well, <laughs> I thought you gave it to me to eat. No, I was being nice and pulling the phone. Um, and Get your own food. <laughs> and Nick will tell you how much he likes this. He has the same exact one. It's a little GoPro session. This thing is tiny. It's smaller than the palm of my hand. And it works really good. So you can use the GoPro like, um, like quick edits and you can use everything free in their app. And they're not really that expensive. Mom, of course we'll make this G-rated. It's not that kind of movie it, yeah, or not... channel. <laughs> Yeah, it is, Nick. I really like it until it took a crap on me today. I was actually going to shoot both of these videos and post them at separate times, but since it took a crap, I said, you know what, we'll just, we'll just shoot this one live and hopefully it doesn't turn into a, a two-hour session like usual. Because, <laughs> you know, I, I, I do want to eat it while it's warm this time. Well, uh, thank you. <laughs> wow. <laughs> Um, let's see, what do we got here? Um, yeah, there are foam dampeners that you can use, Justin, to help with the vibration. Um, but, you know, if you're driving a truck and it's mounted to your windshield, especially the Tundras, they have that bed hop. So, I mean, it, it does vibrate pretty well. Um, unless you have something like a gimbal or something like that to help you with the stabilization. So, 
<laughs> yeah, um, I, I think she knows I'm not drinking root beer. Whisper's <laughs> drinking. Oh, Whisper's drinking beer. root beer. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, me too. Um, what do you, would you rather hold this? Yeah. All right, here we go. <laughs> um, no, actually, there are ways that you can get around it. Um, honestly, if I've noticed if you can mount it a little bit lower on the windshield or really high on the windshield in the middle, you'll eliminate a lot of that if you're forward facing. If you're backward facing, um, if you kind of put it on your window near the roof pillar, it it doesn't vibrate as much because you have a little bit of the roll to help stabilize it. So you can use the mounts that you have, you just have to find the right place that's going to work for you. Um, yeah, I, I like my GoPro, and the one I got, um, it comes already waterproof. It's fully waterproof, and it it works really well for me. You don't have to buy the extra case or anything. I bought like a $25 thing off Amazon that gave you the, the head mount, the chest protector, the clip, a little like um, foam um, tripod, a flotation handle for it and everything. Um, and I'm pretty pleased with it so far. Um, yeah, Justin says you should, um, get it, Gear. Yeah, your lift and 35-inch tires don't really help. I have a 3.1 with 33 and a halves on a 07. But I do also have the sway bar, so, um, I would like to get King Shocks, except for... He wants to blame it on me. Listen, yeah. I live in the real world. Yeah, she lives in the real world and, um... Money doesn't grow on trees. No, money does not grow on trees, but I would have a nice truck. Oh my gosh, <laughs> unbelievable. <laughs> um, yeah, Nick, I fully agree with you. The GoPro is a rock. It really is. Um... And all I had to do was just do a hard reset on it today, and it was fine. Um, yeah, filming with the truck not moving, Justin, doesn't really help too much if you're trying to get a moving video. Um, all the ones that I've done, you know, you kind of have to, um, you know, if you're not moving, it, it's kind of not realistic. You don't get the engine unless you're just sitting there in a parking spot revving the motor. Then that that that's kind of silly to me. <laughs> um, uh, you know what? I I actually when I first got mine, I put it underwater because if it wasn't going to work when I first got it, I didn't want to lose any video. So I put it right underwater, and boy, that thing is clear. Just as long as that little rubber side door grommet doesn't get messed up, you should be good. Mom, send me those seeds. I'll plant the plant that you got growing there. Either that or just give me the flowers. <laughs> I, I'm, I'm fine with that. You can keep the plant and the tree. <laughs> yes, water. Yes. I'll make sure I water it for you. Here we go again with the... Oh, jeez. <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, I know the feeling real estate... Uh, but my kids are all grown up. My youngest is 19 and in college. So, <laughs> yeah, that I'm over with that. We just got the unfortunate um, path of not being rich people. Yeah. That's all right. Water, water. Yeah. <laughs> yes, the air can saw. Yes. <laughs> I am never going to live that down at my redemption. Nope. <laughs> oh, man. Yours is 18 and in college. Wow, you look good to have an 18 year old. Yeah, you do. <clears throat> yeah, um, my oldest is going to be 22. So. What? No. Yeah, we've never seen um, Mrs. Runner. I, I, I seen her 
on your Instagram, I believe, but I guess she doesn't like to be involved in videos. Yes, Vince has just saying, and I have water and air cancel. Yes, you're right. <laughs> we got to have something, right? There's got to be a catchphrase. Cracks me up. Oh, you turned 40 in July. Courtney's birthday's in July, but I won't tell you how old she'll be. Partially because we forgot. <laughs> or in denial. Whatever. Yeah, you know, um, that's a lot of reasons why people don't have their spouses. Um, not only for a privacy issue, but also for a safety issue. But I'm really not expecting to get to be that big to where I got to worry about it. So, I mean, if I do get that big, then maybe I'll take my email, my phone number, and my address off my other accounts. <laughs> I'm not really that concerned. I do this for fun. It, it's an outlet for me to um, do what I like and to try and help other people, you know. You're 22 every year. You can thank the Asian genes for that. Wow. So does that mean... <laughs> So, Redemption, does that mean that, um, if you have them jeans, does that mean you drive a tuner? <laughs> <laughs> you know what? This is very true. They, they really don't. They age extremely well. They do, but there's kind of like a wall. They're like 22, 22, 22, 90. <laughs> <laughs> yes, a rice rocket. Yummo. Love them cars. Yes, young at heart, that definitely helps a lot. Except for when you think you can do something you shouldn't be doing. <laughs> and I know that all too well. So, so what do you think, Court? You think the veggies are done? Oh, they've been done. I already ate. <laughs> it's delicious. 22, 22, 22, 90. Yes. <laughs> um, actually, no, I didn't. <laughs> I'm going to have to go back and look at that. It, it's just that you never really see a middle-aged Asian person. It's kind of like Indian people, even. Indian people always look really young, and then it's just like you either have a teen or a grandmother or a grandfather. I mean, they age very well. They got great skin. I mean, not me. I don't. I didn't age well and don't have good skin. Yeah, you do. You show me. Okay, I'm not going to get into that. He aged well. Especially for the life he's led. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right, guys. Well, I think I'm going to cut this one short. <laughs> yeah, an hour short for me. Um, I'm going to cut this one short so I can eat dinner and get to bed because i got to be up at 4.30 for work. No, Native Americans age well, too. Yeah, Native Americans age pretty good. Um, it's kind of like the Alaskan people, too. Alaskan people really look like... Talking you about know, the Eskimos? Yeah, Eskimos. Okay. Alaskan people. All right. The Anchorage folk. Yes. Y yes. Um, all right, good night, Redemption. Thanks for um, coming. Good night, Gear. Um, all right, enjoy walking the dog. I um, probably won't behave. No guarantees on the behaving part. Um, they must age well since gear looks 20. Very true. All right. Good night, everybody. I'll see you next time. And, you know, don't forget to like, subscribe. Night, um, Mom. Night, Hit that Gary. notification button so you can see when we do silly stuff like this. <laughs> and um, I'll see you guys later. Thanks for coming by.